Hello everybody, welcome back to one more video from Hyperpix Productions, I'm Neri and after our VIP users have requested so much from us we decided to create this product which is to simulate smoke so as you see this product helps you to convert your texts into this brilliant smoky soul uh, which is like your text is smoky so i can promise you that the best best product which is created in the world for smoky effect is what you're watching right now it's the most realistic effect smoky effect ever which our designers have worked on this product so much to create it for you and the design and the result is amazing so like all of our other products working over is absolutely easy just with a single click so let's get started we double click on the yellow layer and type out text just like this close and click save so here we go as i promised just check out the amazing magnificent result it's absolutely simple and super realistic so to download this product just refer to hyperpix.net join the vip account and have an access to this product and all of our other collections and products so what we need to do now is to just get to learn about these groups and layers which we see on the right side over here so we start with the smoke folder which are these smoke effects which you see uh you can just decorate your text with them or just leave them remaining in the background uh, or you can change their place and make any changes you want with these layers or you can just switch the whole group off it doesn't have a huge effect on the text itself it just designs and decorates around your text which you can handle with so the next group is adjustments which is the settings of the brightness and the color which you can just make it darker brighter or black and white it's a super interesting option so the text itself which are these two little texts at the bottom right here which you can just remove them or double click and edit the text so finally we have the effects folder which by using this effect folder if you switch every effect group off you can see the difference in your text and in your style so depending on your desire you can just switch off any group you want for instance this, is this line right here which if I don't want I can switch the layer off so just play around with these layers and honestly it's so easy and by switching on and off them you can just move them around and dragging them you can be witness of your results so let's come and test this product and see how it works so I've got a screen and page ready right here it's exactly the same file it doesn't have any difference let's open it so we have some characters right here as you see which I have arranged them all besides each other so to not take the time of the video I just arranged them before uh, so we have many different characters besides and it's created this style you see so now I'm going to convert and uh, insert this text into this image I see right here so this image is a little small I'm just going to enlarge it a bit and drag it towards up I mean I'm going to give it a little bit of a height so I'm going to select the background color which is black uh, select the crop option and drag towards up and pull it towards up and done so in other words we just drag the image and now at the top we have a free space which I can just a transfer this text towards there so we we'll just to switch off the smoke uh, group and layers and now I'm going to just select this section which is my text uh, as you see we're on the first layer and group and the smoke is switched off so control shift and C are the buttons we need to press together so now it's copied we come into this section and press ctrl and v and as you see it's transferred to our image so we're going to enlarge a little if you notice that it has a background i'm going to remove this background just from this section right here we select screen mode so as you see 
uh, the background is removed and the result is magnificent so I want to just remove the color make it black and white just like this so also you can just give a little more brightness make it a little more bright so these are the customizations which you can have on your design you can just enlarge the text a little or with control and t uh, change the size or select warp and just do some little changes on your text just like this so the result is absolutely amazing and fantastic so also you can press ctrl and j get a duplicate and make so many different changes you're totally free also you can just select these smokes right here uh, the elements which we have and drag them and paste them here i'm just going to uh, increase the opacity and you can also give them smokes color and place them all around your design and your text and customize uh, and give it some details which is so so pretty honestly uh, any more time you put on it you're going to be impressed with your result so let's try it on one more image this is my image which i'm going to try and this is my text so it's just a normal text with a smoky uh, font so now what we need to do is to just uh, pay attention to the layers I'm going to do the same thing repeat we just switch off the smoke group select the text with control shift and C and we come on our image select control V select the screen mode and drag the text towards up so I'm going to enlarge it with control and T it's starting to look excellent we just I uh, changed the color a little. I think it's fantastic. Uh, so I want to give a little arch and bend. So I select Control T and Warp. And I'm just going to drag it towards up. And I think this bend is perfect. So I'm going to switch uh, and click on the layer and select Control and J. And create a layer. Select Mask. Choose a soft and black brush just like this as you see. And now I'm going to just slowly, slowly click and drag on uh, this part, which is covering the person and uh, remove. It's like the text is behind the person, uh, so it's not covering the image anymore, which I think the result is brilliant. If you see by moving my text, it's not covering the person anymore. So I can customize now. I'm just going to select the brightness tools and sections. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click right here and make it a little more bright, increase the brightness and the result is absolutely amazing. Also the contrast which I can have a control on. I can select the hue and saturation settings and edit the color a little. And finally, from the style and the smokes which we have right here, we can drag them and insert them into our image and make it so much more detailed and beautiful so we can also rotate the smokes and decorate our text and image so this is the final result which is absolutely amazing and impressing so as we promised it was easy as a piece of cake in hyperpix we make products so easy for you so you can work with any product and get to any result you like for people that don't have so much knowledge in Photoshop or computer which easily by watching this video they can get to every single result they wish so thanks for watching so much don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and join the VIP account so you don't miss out on our products and use them in all your personal and commercial projects bye to one more video